Hi, welcome to the very, very first video of my YouTube channel. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I decided to start a booktube. So I'll just quickly introduce myself. I am Lisa, or Lisa Loves to Read on BookTok or Bookstagram. I read romance, some fantasy, and recently some thriller as well. Just love talking about books, meeting new people. I'm from Belgium. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And I'm really excited to start doing some fun challenges on this channel, some reading vlogs, reading recommendations. If you have any ideas for me to film, please let me know in the comments. And to everyone that is already subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support and the sweet messages that I have received from you. Now for my very first video, I thought it would be fun to do a bookshelf tour. That way you can really see what my taste is like and what I read mostly. Now I have to admit, I'm also a big Kindle reader, so I'll just quickly grab that one because my Kindle is my baby. So I have the Kindle, I think it's the 2019 version, so it's a pretty old one. But it still works and it's so easy to read on. I'm a slow reader, but with my Kindle, I feel like I'm reading 10 times faster. Okay, now it's starting to feel like a Kindle ad, so I'm gonna stop. I recently also added some stickers, I don't know if you can see. And I ordered these on Amazon, so I'll link these down below if you would like take a look they're really really cute okay now i'm gonna put these away so let's start the bookshelf tour okay so these are my shelves they are just the regular billy bookcases from ikea as you can see i have one big shelf and then these three little shelves and i put them in a corner so here we have my dark romance-ish shelf. Now most of these books I haven't even read, by the way. So <laughs> I won't be telling you which ones I haven't read because it's a lot. So here we have Vicious Lost Boy series. Look at these covers, by the way, they're so pretty. And these, some more dark romance, some Katie Roberts. And then these are also Katie Robert and Scarlett St. Clair. And then on top series. Here we have the Ravenhood trilogy. I have read these. This one I have to had to DNF. Because it was just... Because of what happens in this one, this one was not as fun to read for me. And then here we have some Sophie Lark. And oh my god, look at this cover. I think this one must be my... One of my most beautiful covers I own. The second shelf has some romance books. And I just love how beautiful these covers look together. They're all by Ella Mace. And then going up we have multiple authors. Icebreaker, one of my all-time favorites. It's very, very hyped, but it's for a reason, okay? I read this one in October last year and I'm still obsessed. Speaking of Obsessed, the Twisted series, oh my god, these are so, so good. All right, Twisted Love is not everyone's favorite, but trust me, you have to keep reading because once you've read this one, it will just only get better and better. Most people's favorite is Twisted Lies, but I think mine is between Twisted Games or Twisted Hate. Reese Larson is definitely my number one Twisted Man. And then another series by Anna Huang is this one. I still haven't read it. And then some more romance books. Randomly a Christmas book. <laughs> and then here we have some L. Kennedy books. I only read the Off Campus series and that one was really good. On my third shelf, some more romance, of course. This one is so, so funny. If you haven't read it and you're in the mood for a rom-com romance book. I really recommend it. Uh, it has no spice and just really funny. Oh, and another one of my favorites, this one, The Right Move. It's the second book in the Windy City series and I highly recommend it. Then we have these chunky books, Anastasia by Sophie Lark. 
and the Grip Trilogy by Kennedy Ryan. I have read this and if you're a big fan of the animated movie Anastasia, it's really interesting to read this one as well. Oh, and it also has illustrations. Look at that. And I'm moving on to one of my comfort series, The Edens by Devney Perry. This is a little Christmas novella that you can read before the series. Because the first book is Indigo Rich, Juniper Hill, Garnet Flats, and Jasper Vale, and soon Crimson River, I think, will come out. And then some Mariana Zapata, a sad book, very popular. And then, like I said in the intro, I'm starting to get into thrillers or mystery books. So these are currently the ones I own. Five Survived. This is my first one I've read, Rock, Paper, Scissors, and it was amazing. Paris Apartment, Daisy Darker, also by Alice Feeney, same author as Rock, Paper, Scissors. Silent Patients, and this is not a thriller, I think it's more like a rom-com, but it has Halloween vibes. Then we have this shelf. These are all of my very colorful romance books. This series, some Tessa Bailey, a lot of Tessa Bailey actually, Lynn Painter books, Tina Lauren, and this series, also very very popular on BookTok, I haven't read it yet, I feel like I'm saying that a lot. And then we have Emily Henry books, I'm very proud to say that I've read all of them, I also made a reading vlog for Happy Place, so I will upload that one very soon. Archer's Voice, very popular, and then some more romance. And then down here we have my Harry Potter books, the selection series, and the Outlander books. I'm obsessed with the TV show, so I had to buy the books as well. Here is my Dutch copy of Flock. Some more romance. If you have not read Part of Your World yet, it is so good. And then randomly some classics. Down here I have some books I wanted to sell. And I'm planning to make a dark romance shelf here, so I already added my Penelope Douglas books. And then going to the next shelf, we have my hardcover copies of the Willow Winter books. I think these three books have like 16 books in them. And then here we have my Colleen Hoover books, along with some Taylor Jenkins Reads. And if I had had to pick a favorite, I would say this one. I have not read all of her books yet, but this one made me cry so hard. And then moving up, some more Colleen Hoover. And I also have the hardcover of It Ends With Us. So this is the hardcover. Look at these details. And then here we have two other series. The Magnolia Parks universe and the Dreamland Billionaire series. Still need to read it, but I'm so excited. I heard it's like Gossip Girl, but in London. Then another series I haven't read. Wow, I feel like I'm saying that a lot. And then here is one of my favorite shelves. The more romance, of course. Midnight Kisses. I haven't seen this a lot on Instagram or BookTok. He's a football player, I want to say, and she's a coach's daughter. And then we have... One of my all-time favorite series, the Chestnut Spring series. Go. Some Lucy Scar books, Dating Dr. Dill, and then Monica Murphy books, and this little one as well. And then here we have my Play the Prisoner series collection. I still need to read the fourth book, and I don't own it yet, but I'm planning to read that this year. Guild, Flint, Angling. If you haven't read it yet, it's so, so good and it's a King Midas retelling. But please check the trigger warnings because it deals with some really heavy topics as well. And then here, some, I would say, mythology books. Except for these. I just <laughs> thought they looked cute with the other covers. But then we have some more Greek-themed mythology books. Also, fun fact, I'm half Greek, so that's why I created this little corner. 
Then my copies of Ariadne. This is the Waterstones edition and it's just so beautiful. This is Asian mythology, I think. Six Crimson Creams. Beautiful cover. Unfortunately, the story wasn't really my thing. I had to DNF it. And then Circe. And then another one of my babies, the Shatter Me series. I am obsessed with these books. I'm currently on this book. I I read Shadow Me, so now I will have to go read Defy Me and then go back to this one to read the second novella. And then I just have only two books left. And some Bridget Camera books. And then we have some books that I bought at the beginning of joining Book Talk. As you can see, this is very popular and I still haven't read it. This one is... Uh, I don't know if it's that popular for Tuna Sworn. It sounded really good, but for some reason I still haven't picked it up. And then the Percy Jackson books. I really want to start reading this because there will be coming a Disney Plus series soon and I want to read the books first. And then The Witcher. I read some of these, but I think I prefer the TV show because the books are just so hard to read. Then my Sarah J Maas books. Ekator and Crescent City. I have read all of the Ekator books and I started reading Crescent City as you can see but it's really complicated and I'm not a big fantasy reader so I'll have to give that one a try some other time. And then here we have some more Harry Potter books. The Grishaverse books. I have read all of them and I love it, especially these two. Look how beautiful. Unfortunately, these two were not my favorite. And then moving up some more fantasy. This little series, Between Crowns and Cursed Crowns. Unfortunately, I had to DNF this one. And then we have some hardcovers. These Violent Delights and or violent ends and then this is a standalone and i think everyone should read it it's so so good shadows between us by trisha levenseller hope i'm pronouncing that right but it's a fantasy standalone not a lot of world building not that complicated and no spice but just look at that first sentence They've never found the body of the first and only boy who broke my heart. That sounds so good. And then these two, they just scare me. <laughs> I've heard a lot of people say that this is so complicated to read. Really good though, but it just scares me. And this is also the Waterstones edition. And this one I bought in a small town in Scotland. And I was so oh, happy to see that it's a signed copy. And it has illustrations in it. So pretty. Here we have some more. Whoa. They need to be perfect. <laughs> we have some more Sarah J. Moss, the Throne of Glass series. Also scared to read them because they are just a commitment. Look how many books there are in this series. And these are chunky. Very last shelf are some more romance books, except for this one. I just didn't know where to put it. The Invisible Life of Ed Rue. Den of Vipers. I'm not sure if I'm gonna ever read this, but who knows. Kingdom of the Wicked, of the Cursed and the Feared. And then I have another signed book, To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Cristo. So she signed it and I asked her to write down her favorite quotes. So she wrote, a princess must have her prince. Also, she didn't write my name wrong. This is actually my name, it's not with a Z. And then we have A Curse of Crows by Lauren de Droog, a Flemish author, which is very cool. This edition has frayed edges. And then lastly, we have my Dutch editions of the Agatha series, the first three books. They also have the original covers, 
but like I said, they were in Dutch. And as you can see, I read the first book in Dutch, but now I'm clearly only reading in English most of the time. Oh, and before I forget, I also own this book, Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. This is so, so popular at the moment, but I'm currently reading this one and so far it's amazing. So normally I'm putting this one right here because I think that it just looks perfect with this series. And I have some other copies of this book coming in hardcover soon, hopefully. So yeah, one of my favorites. I can feel it already. So those are all of the books that are on my shelves. So those were all of the books on my shelves. I hope you enjoyed this little bookshelf tour. If you did, please like this video. I would really appreciate the support. Of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified every time I upload. I will try to make as many videos as I can. And like I said, Please let me know if you have any fun ideas for me to film. So that was it for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you very soon in the next video. Bye!